how the blockchain technology is different from the regular, let's say, software technology and the regular software development? What is the difference? Okay, yeah. I got asked this quite frequently, and I don't have an awesome answer to this because for me, it is not that different for two main reasons. Um, if you compare blockchain, it depends on where, where, where you are looking from. If you compare the blockchain technology to traditional client-side front-end applications, it's quite different. But if you compare blockchain and smart contract development to backend procedural development to even stuff like databases where you're dealing with transactions where you need to do rollbacks, reports, all these things. Well, it's not that different. It's it's kind of it's kind of similar. So it's kind of the mindset of the more traditional backend development, but you also need to add several several flavors in terms of transactions, in terms of uh, rewards, uh, rollbacks of the state, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, where it massively differs is that normally with the blockchain, specifically with the smart contracts, you have one shot. You either correctly deploy it or not. This is not 100% correct. There are ways and there are mechanisms that you guys are going to learn that you can do stuff in order to modify your smart contract, but in theory and in general, pretty much you have one shot. Whatever you deploy there is going to be there. So this immutability is something that developers that have not developed smart contracts are not used to. You always have the ability to patch things. You always have an ability to, 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 to push um, updates to your production site. Whereas with smart contracts, 99% of the times you don't have this, this ability. So this is one of the things that's, that's changing. Another thing that is both similar, but kind of different is that Blockchain development is not just smart contract development. Uh, when you're developing a blockchain project, yes, you are developing normally smart contracts, but maybe you're not even developing smart contracts. You might be developing networks. You might be developing a peer-to-peer -peer network. And this is something that's not, it's not traditional, but it's not that uncommon. I mean, think about torrent systems, like people have developed peer-to-peer -peer networks for a long time, much before we had blockchain. And people have developed microservices based systems that need to communicate with each other for a long time now. So in this sense, it is not that different. Where it is different is that the tools and the context that you need to oblige to is the content, context of the blockchain, of the immutability that we just uh, spoke about. And you need to be sure that whatever you're doing is deterministic. You need to be sure that whatever you're doing can either fully resolve to be correct or incorrect and then, 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 then being reverted. So in this sense, it's a little bit more complex because you have more limitations. Another place that is different is that you have less tools. I think that this is firstly due to the maturity of the technology, but also again, due to these limitations because some of the traditional tools cannot work in the limitation where you cannot change the, the contract, where the, the contract is immutable, where the code is immutable. So this is where they differ. But in a sense, if you're a good traditional developer, if you have the logical, critical thinking, if you're a person that can pretty much go through your code and be very diligent with your code and make sure that your code is not buggy and you have the quality assurance practices for you to do that. And when I say quality assurance practices, I don't mean you're relying on a QA person, but rather than you do your tests, you do your uh, architectural diagrams so that you're sure that you have thought about the contract or the system from all the different angles, then it's pretty similar. People are making the switch pretty easily. But again, you need to be talented, you need to be passionate, and you need to be smart enough, I guess. Yeah.